Good morning, RVers. Hey, welcome to Dude RV. I do appreciate you stopping by, and you got here just in time. I'm about to learn how to tint a motorhome window. More specifically, how to tint the side windows on our F550 chassis. For two reasons, and two reasons only. Reason number one, when we're driving north and south, somebody's got sun shining on them and it gets hot. And so somebody's always saying, are you hot? Are you hot? Are you cold? So we want to balance the temperature when we're driving north and south. The second, and for me, the more important reason is we've got this really fancy rear view monitor system. And it's about worthless because of the glare. The glare on the screen makes it... Uh, <laughs> It only work, you you can only really use it uh, on cloudy days or early or late in the day. So we're going to resolve that by, and I'm going to learn how to tint a motorhome window in the process. I'm starting this project really early. Sun's just now breaking the horizon, and that's because I live on a windy hill, and it's it's going to be hot and the wind's going to be blowing, and so I don't want to be fighting this film in the wind. I've ordered, now, if you decide to pursue this project, you need to check with your local laws and, and find out what the, the regulations are. Here in Texas, we can have a 25% film on the side windows. It may, it may vary in by location. I, I don't know. I have found, oh, and by the way, I am an Amazon affiliate and I do earn a little bit of revenue Anytime you click one of my Amazon links, uh, it doesn't affect your price any at all, but it sure helps the channel. It helps fund these projects for you. So when I decided to learn how to tint a motorhome window, I went and did a lot of research, and I went on Amazon. I, I, want, I like things to be simple. And I actually have found pre-cut panels for the F550 chassis. That simplifies things and then I, I needed a kit because there's a there's a couple of tools you need that I didn't happen to have laying around because I've never done this before uh, and I just ordered a basic window tent kit and it has a squeegee a knife a, a lint free cloth and the application solution and I'll have I'll provide links to these products on uh, in the description below the company that does that i bought these from the pre-cut panels they do pre-cut panels for a lot of vehicles so if you have a van chassis then you might want to go to this company if you have a 550 company that you uh, or if you have a 550 chassis then by all means they have your panel all right so step number one get it clean so step number one, we're gonna we're gonna crack the, the window just enough to so, oh, lower the window down about two inches. What we wanna do is is clean, thoroughly clean the window. Because any any little bit of dirt will look like bubbles. And you use a razor blade and the application solution. Or you can use soapy water. You want your razor blade? Now, I've never done this before, so I'm, I'm learning how... <laughs> I'm really learning how to tint the motorhome window. But they said up and down strokes. You don't want to clean with an ammonia based cleaner because that will interfere with the adhesive on the tent. So even if you if you're anal about keeping your windows clean like I am, clean the window. You can take your squeegee with the little pointy thing and get in the, the 
cracks there. Now we're ready to apply. Oh, wait a minute, gotta clean both sides. Clean both sides of the window. Now, if you're using, like, I'm not going to have to use the knife that came in the kit because I bought pre-cut panels. And they're identified as front passenger, front driver side. So it gives us instructions not to trim the bottom edge of the, the panel, but it recommends that you trim the top side. So I guess I am. I, I misspoke. We're actually going to... Put the knife in the pocket in case we need it. So now we're going to go put this, stick this on the window. They said you can't put on too much stuff, and I, I see why. I'm going to fold 
the bottom up so I'm not getting dirt on it while I'm working with it. Alright. More flicker. We want to leave a one eighth, approximately one eighth inch exposed. Today's video is sponsored by CampgroundViews.com, the cutting edge technology in trip planning for your RV trip. You want to know what that site's going to look like? They have got you covered with 360 degree views of every campsite. They currently are focusing on recreation.gov campsites. They have completed all of the West Coast and are in the process of getting all of the East Coast campsites. And then they'll be moving into the central United States. But they have an early bird special that I'm taking advantage of. And I recommend that you check it out and see if it fits with your budget as well. Because this technology is what we RVers have been dying for we'll be able to see exactly what the sights look like. No surprises when we get there because of those 360 degree views. So my hat's off to campgroundviews.com. The link is in the description below. I encourage you to go check out what they're doing and see if it's right for you. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. Glass at the top. Oh, well we gotta, wanna make sure you, coat the outside too so that when you're working it you've got some some slick so and then we push the, the bubbles and wrinkles to smooth it on there Got a little crease in it. Okay. Now we're ready to close the window.
more slip, slippery. Looking good, looking good. Not too bad for my first time learning how to tint a motorhome window. I've got one little, I allow the film to fold 
on two places. But it's only really visible right there when the sun hits it right. We got all the bubbles out though. Let's go to the other side. I hope you guys learned something from my efforts to learn window tinting on a motorhome. Uh, I had had no idea of the finesse required when you're when you're doing the window tinting on the motorhome. And as you can see, I will have to look at my errors, the errors of my ways. The the first side, the first panel I did, passenger side came out pretty good. Driver side, not so good. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I do appreciate you stopping by. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so deeply honored. And for my patrons, you guys rock. <laughs>